G'day guys. On a daily basis, we get a whole heap of questions. Um, and so I thought it just might be easy to do them in video form. And if it works out great, I might continue this moving forward. Uh, one of the questions we got were, was, do you need a plumber to install your rehydration stations? Short answer is no. We have designed this to be a do-it-yourself. However, if you want the most professional install, then I would highly recommend the plumber. Uh, if you want uh, new taps run, uh, copper install, so on and so forth, drainage to storm water, then I would highly recommend the plumber. Uh, if you do need suggestions for plumbers, we do have them online uh, under our registered installers tag. So you can get a hold of one of those guys and they will be able to sort you out perfectly. Another question we have is, do you do custom work for ute boxes or do you do custom work full stop? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, we do do uh, contract laser cutting. We also do contract uh, press work. When it comes to products, we do do the odd custom toolbox, the odd custom water tank. Uh, however, this year in 2022, we will be ramping that up. So if you do have any questions or you want something custom made, get in touch with us at info at dkstainless.com.au and we'll be able to help you out. Another question we've had is, how do they go in the Queensland sun and does it heat up the water? How we've designed these rehydration stations is they have an air gap, very, very similar to how an Esky has an air gap on the inner and outer, all the way around the inside of the tank. Therefore, it keeps that water cool. The other good thing about stainless is it actually reflects a lot of the UV rays to actually heat that water up out. So it does keep your water nice and cool. If the station is in direct sunlight, Yes, the water may increase in temperature three, four, five degrees, but it will not heat up to where it's boiling or burn your dog's mouth or, you, or your pet's mouth. And guys, probably one of the most common questions we get, we probably get it at least daily, is what is the difference between your rehydration stations compared to one of those uh, cattle waters, those $50 cattle waters from like a produce shop? The biggest and most important difference is our rehydration stations are Australian made. They're made right here in Brisbane, Australia. Every other one is made from overseas and, and it's imported in. That's the biggest point of difference. The next difference is grade of stainless. We use food grade stainless, grade 304. A lot of that grade is a 400 series grade. So it's got a lot more carbon build up, so it'll actually rust a lot quicker. Another point of difference is we have all the plumbing supplied and all the fixing supplied, so all you have to do is just hook it up straight to your garden tap. They don't. The next one, and this will be the last one, but there's many, many more, is the insulation. We have an air gap going and running all the way around the station to help keep the water cool inside these troughs. They don't. They're just a single skin with a lip along the top where all a lot of spiders and vermin and everything else can get, get in there and, and just live in there. Guys, thanks for those questions. Keep sending them through. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys have.